Have you ever flipped over your watch and noticed the words stainless steel back or sometimes just stainless steel etched into the case? It's one of those details that seems small, even mundane. But if you've ever wondered why it's there, you're not alone. Watches, after all, are a blend of engineering, craftsmanship, fashion, and functionality, and even the tiniest inscriptions carry meaning. So why do so many watches, especially those on the affordable or mid-range side, include that little label? What does it say about the materials, the manufacturing process, and even the history of the watch industry? Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To begin with, let's break down what stainless steel actually is. Stainless steel is a corrosion-resistant alloy of iron, containing chromium and, in many cases, other elements like nickel or molybdenum. The magic of stainless steel lies in its ability to resist rust and staining, hence the name. When chromium in the steel reacts with oxygen in the air, it forms a thin, invisible layer of chromium oxide. This protective film seals the metal beneath from moisture and corrosive elements, making it extremely durable over time. That's why stainless steel has become a go-to material not just for kitchen appliances and surgical tools, but also for wearable items like watches. Now, when it comes to watches specifically, Stainless steel serves two major purposes. First, it's practical. A watch is something you wear close to your skin, often for hours or even the entire day. It needs to endure sweat, changing temperatures, exposure to air, and even the occasional splash of water. Stainless steel holds up well in all these scenarios. It doesn't easily tarnish, it resists rust, and it has enough strength to withstand impacts and scratches better than many other metals. Second, it's also a matter of aesthetics and branding. Stainless steel has a sleek, polished look that people associate with quality and modernity, even if the watch isn't particularly expensive. But here's where it gets interesting. Not all watches that say stainless steel are made entirely of it. Sometimes, especially on lower-end models, you'll see stainless steel back, meaning only the back of the watch, the part that touches your skin, is made from stainless steel, while the rest of the casing might be made from a cheaper metal, like brass or even zinc alloy. In these cases, manufacturers prioritize using stainless steel where it counts most for skin contact and durability while cutting costs on parts that are less exposed or visible. This approach allows companies to balance cost and quality while still offering a product that meets consumer expectations. You might be wondering, why don't manufacturers just make the whole watch out of stainless steel? Well, the answer often comes down to cost and weight. Stainless steel is more expensive and harder to mold compared to some other metals. In budget watches, especially those sold at mass market retailers, shaving down production costs is essential. By using stainless steel only on the back, manufacturers can market the durability of the material while keeping the price point low. It's a bit of marketing, a bit of honesty, and a bit of strategic material use all rolled into one. Interestingly, you'll also find that luxury watch brands don't always need to emphasize stainless steel on the back because it's already assumed or stated elsewhere. In fact, many premium watches don't even include that label because their entire cases, straps, or bracelets are clearly made of high-grade stainless steel, titanium, or precious metals. On the flip side, for brands trying to assure the buyer of durability, Without stating the full composition of the watch, marking the back as stainless steel is a quick and effective way to communicate at least some level of quality assurance. 
Let's also talk about the historical side of things. Back in the earlier days of watchmaking, especially during the mid 20th century, metal corrosion was a much more significant problem. Watches with brass or base metal backs could cause skin irritation or green staining, especially when exposed to sweat over long periods. Stainless steel backs started becoming a popular solution during this time. They offered a more skin-friendly and longer-lasting alternative, especially before nickel allergies became more widely recognized. So in many ways, the stainless steel back label was a badge of progress, showing consumers that this watch had a durable and safer material where it mattered most. Over time, the phrase became something of an industry standard. Even today, when stainless steel is widely available and affordable, the label remains common. It's a legacy of older practices and perhaps also a small form of transparency. It's telling you in a few simple words that at least one part of the watch, often the most skin sensitive part, meets a certain durability standard. But that opens up another question. What about watches that don't say stainless steel? Should you be concerned? Not necessarily, but it's worth being informed. Some modern watches might use alternative materials like ceramic, titanium, resin, or even carbon fiber. These can be just as durable or even more so, depending on their use case. Meanwhile, if a watch simply says nothing at all about its materials and it's clearly metal, chances are it may be a base metal with chrome plating, which can wear off over time and may cause skin irritation for some people. So the absence of that stainless steel label doesn't automatically mean poor quality, but it's something to pay attention to if you're shopping with longevity in mind. In short, the phrase stainless steel on the back of a watch isn't just a throwaway detail, it's a small signal about the watch's durability, history, and even its price point. Whether it's a full stainless steel case or just a stainless steel back, it reflects decades of evolving design choices in both mass market and luxury watchmaking. It's a choice driven by cost, practicality, and consumer expectations. The next time you spot those words on your watch or someone else's, you'll know there's a little more behind them than meets the eye. So, whether you're a watch enthusiast or someone who just likes knowing how everyday objects are made, now you know. That tiny line of text is actually a window into material science, industrial history, and product design. And it all fits on the back of something no bigger than your wrist. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.